Now, an urgent search and rescue operation continues at the scene of that deadly condo collapse near Miami. Half of that 12 story building fell to the ground in the middle of the night. Right now, we know as many as 99 people remain unaccounted for, and as they carefully search for survivors, officials are concerned about the stability of the rest of that complex. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Erin O'Hearn in for Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is the deadly condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. Three people have died and dozens of others were carefully rescued. Security camera video from the adjacent building captured the moment of the collapse. The condo is coming down in two sections within seconds. Well, once the dust settled, this photo taken by first responders puts the gravity of that situation into perspective. 55 units reduced to a pile of debris. Many questions are swirling right now about how this could happen. But at this hour, highly trained rescue teams are focused on finding loved ones who are still being reported missing. ABC's Victor Cuendo has the latest from the scene. The massive search and rescue efforts continue in Surfside, Florida, just north of Miami Beach, after a condominium building partially collapsed early Thursday morning. Security camera video from the adjacent condo captured the moment the apartment building collapsed. We had a 12 story, 136 sto uh, unit apartment complex that uh, had sustained a partial collapse. The northeast corridor of the apartment had uh, collapsed approximately 55 apartment units. Miami Dade Fire Rescue says more than 80 units were sent to the scene. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. They are in search and rescue mode. They are trying to identify survivors. I know they have made contact um, uh, with some, and they are they are doing everything they can to save lives. First responders rescuing a young man from the rubble using a bucket truck to take people off their balconies. Look how people standing upstairs that don't need to be evacuated. Barry Cohen thought it was a thunderstorm. We opened up the door from our apartment, and there was a huge pile of rubble. The collapse sent a cloud of debris throughout the neighborhood. Cars as far as two blocks away coated with dust. There's a third of the entire building that you cannot see from the street, but it's completely gone. Nicholas Fernandez owns two units in the building. Three close friends were staying in one of those condos. I'm not even concerned about my, my unit. I, I, I don't care. It's material. I just want them to be good. Officials say they're concerned about the approaching storms contributing to a potential secondary collapse at the building and within the debris pile. They add they still don't know how many people could still be trapped. So far, ABC News has confirmed six Paraguayan nationals are among the missing. Victor Okendo, ABC News, Surfside, Florida.